So, well, yeah. nuclear fission is a religion. It's a, it's a law. You know, the world must believe. That's all there is. Sure, the sun is an atomic bomb burning in the sky. If you don't believe that, you're going to go to jail. Okay, now, <laughs> your theory on the sun, I want to get. It's hollow. It's, so every planetary object is hollow, right? All hollow. Well, the sun's definitely hollow, because I studied the sun for four years straight. This is a question. And it's obviously hollow. Okay. And the solar, uh, the, the, the sunspots are holes that allow you to see inside. Really? Yeah. It's dark inside. The sun is well understood. In, in, in radio physics and studying the ionosphere and sunspots and all that stuff, that the sun does not operate by fusion. They do not know how the sun operates. The fusion only comes out of the arcs because of the current density. That's where the hydrogen fusion occurs, is in the actual arcs between the flares. The sun itself is not a fusion device. So, uh, the fusion is all the, in the effect of the It's flare. a converter. Yeah, the sun is a converter from another dimensionality into this dimensionality and obviously if you can't if you can't see it in outer space the conversion's not complete until it hits the earth's atmosphere or other physical object and then it finally converts to so electromagnetic when light it hits the ozone layer it does well something. the earth's envelope the earth's envelope yeah it's un this envelope is undefined Fun. Yeah, but you have to get in the Wilhelm Reich about that. Like we were talking about how you can't see the stars anymore. Yeah, yeah. So the sun, you say, it makes its quote-unquote energy some, through some electrical etheric process. Yeah, because of its voltage, so its position. Would you call it some kind of etheric lamp? A lantern? Yeah, it's like kind? a giant Tesla lamp. You know, in a burner, the sun is going to be It's not burning anything. It's, so it's an etheric electrical yeah, converter. And it's, it's converting from primary force to secondary force. And it, it, the conversion is complete once it hits the, uh, at the upper atmosphere. Of the yeah, then, then once the, the emission interacts with physical matter, then it, it reverts to its reduced form, the waste product, which is heat and light and mechanical activity. But it doesn't start off like that, and its origin is undefined because it comes from what people like to say, another dimension. Sunspot. Counter space. Sunspots are holes in the holes in the hollow sun. There's a photosphere that generates the light, and it's it's contiguous. It's not contiguous. It's little things that move around. Contiguous. Yeah, it's a, it's an arrangement with little glowing spots, and it's dark in between. It's a veil, and and that's where the illumination of the sun originates. Is in that veil. It doesn't come from the inside. There's no nuclear furnace in the middle. There's none of that shit, and that's understood. When I studied this stuff in Sonoma State, that's understood. But they have to continue this popular image that the sun is a nuclear bomb burning in the sky. Scarcity. Combustion. Because that's everything's got to work on destruction. Exactly. Burning right. something. Yeah. Yeah. Like the caloric theory, that's another Yeah, thing whatever. It has to be the laws of thermodynamics. You have to pay. So you it has to no be a meter. If you can't put a meter on it, it's not real. Do you have any respect?